Here is a Conair phone. And here the dial tone. The buttons don't light up. This is... I don't know what... Okay, here. Model SW160A, it looks like. And here's the other information. I don't know if you can possibly read any of that. It's your basic wall or desk phone. It has little rubber feet on it, or it can be mounted to the wall. The cord is, I'd like to say, permanently attached. It certainly was that way when I bought it, which is going on... Oh, maybe 15 years ago now. <laughs> uh, I suppose that little panel pops out and maybe the quarter's replaceable, but I never looked into it. Uh, never really needed to. As with everything that I own, there is a story attached. I bought this phone, I think, at Big Lots many years ago uh, when we had our apartment. It so seemed that the apartment had phone jacks everywhere. And one of those phone jacks was a wall jack in the bathroom, of all places. So we needed a cheap shit phone that would go and would work in case you're taking a dump and somebody rings and, you know, you want to pick up, see what it's about. No caller ID or anything fancy. So that works. Uh, it's dirty. It's been around for a long time, just sitting. When I moved to the house, I took it with me, of course, because it was mine. And it originally was on the wall right here by the bar. Uh, that was the phone I had at the time that was handy. I later found this also at Big Lots. And it had caller ID, and as it turns out, it just eats batteries alive, so I don't even bother replacing them. It's pretty rare I even pick this phone up, so I could just put the other one back. But this has just been here, it works, and that's that. So that Conair phone lived in the corner of the bar for, I want to say, a good 9 or 10 years. Hasn't been touched. Now, the little uh, cord here is screwed. That's green green and terrible and of course the sound is crackly and distorted and I need two hands there we go to plug it in also the jack the plug on the phone I should say is also a bit corroded and green although interestingly enough this connection is not so I don't know just picking it up with wet hands or something like that the water like dripped in there but you think it would drip off I have no idea but that is the affected jack uh, I can probably clean that up and or replace the cord, which is pretty short, but was great for the bathroom and on the wall by the bar. Uh, really, the only other thing to do is ring it up. There is the ringer. It has uh, a control for volume of the handset and um, for tone or pulse. I don't know if there's a way to actually turn the ringer off on this. I don't think there is. There's no other switch or anything around. I don't have the book for it. I don't know whatever happened to it. So as far as I'm concerned, unless there's some sort of code you punch in to shut the ringer off, it rings, period. So let's call it. Just a piercing little... That's all it was. This phone aspired to be nothing but a piece of crap. Look how big the thing is. This phone aspired to be nothing but a piece of crap when I bought it, and I bought it specifically for that reason. It was a dirt cheap phone, and I needed a dirt cheap phone. And hey, it served the purpose. Anyway, that's about it. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.